So I got a signed final judgment of divorce yesterday. Um, and my judge says that I owe my husband half a million dollars. Now, who has half a million dollars? And the breakdown of the half a million dollars is I owe him $200,000 of attorney fees over a span of two-year trial. I also owe him um, $300,000 for the home equity of the home. I don't live in a big fancy house. I had in 2019 signed um, an agreement where I was to give him $150,000. And in 2019, that would have been doable. I had a stable job that didn't pay well, but it was okay. And interest rates were at 2.5%, which means I could have taken the $150,000 cash out. He owed me arrears. Um, my husband has $700,000 of uh, 401k marital money in his name um, that the judge had um, not acknowledged in the fi final judgment of divorce, even though it was presented by me in my trial. Um, so, and he owed me arrears and he's been underpaying me and he has not been reimbursing me for any of my kids' expenses. He has not been contributing towards any of my kids' expenses. And I had all of that documented. How does this happen to me? Judges can deny you due process. And that's typically what they do if you have a financial divorce like mine or if you have a custody issue. Um, so um, I don't have a lot of options. I did in 2021 go to the judicial committee and say to um, the judge that I have, the judicial committee judges that I have a financial agreement, there's no custody issues, and I'm being locked into this vicious uh, litigation by him. Um, and what the judicial committee does is they really only care about sexual harassment cases um, if a judge has acted inappropriately to their own staff. Judicial committees do not care about regular people's issues when you have um, a judge like mine that should have done the right thing but isn't. Um, and a lot of people have gone to the ju judicial committee and they do squat for people. They just tell you to go through the entire divorce and appeal. Sounds easy, right? It sounds easy. However, if a judge denies you due process, which means they don't let you have any witnesses, they don't let you submit any evidence or any paperwork, um, they tell you to sit down and shut up. Um, they don't listen to your story, then you're being de denied due process, which is what everyone thinks of when they think of judge and courts. Um, and so um, I was denied due process of my witnesses. I was denied due process of all of my evidence of abuse, um, my kids being financially abused and emotionally abused by him, which I had police um, reports on. Um, the, my judge denied um, a police officer to testify on my behalf. The judge denied my 18 year old from testifying. Um, a judge denied, um, you know, a witness to, to say that I'm the one that primarily takes care of the kids. And that's something that my kids could have said to the judge as well, um, that they hardly see him. Um, he's nothing more than a visitor, not even a part-time parent. Um, so I filed a lawsuit against him, a colorful lawsuit that many people file as a last resort. And um, they don't care, basically. Um, they're, they said to me that I have no proof of anything. You could submit all the evidence in the world. And the federal judges will say you have no proof. 
um, because at the end of the day, the right judges can actually clean your court hearing. Um, meaning they, I have looked at my transcripts and I've listened to some um, court hearings and there are pieces of the stuff missing. Like for instance, um, we had a hearing where um, he denied my 18 year old daughter, um, you know, testimony, denied her to be my witness and to testify about the abuse she suffered um, at his hands before the divorce and after the and during the divorce. Um, and so what happens is if a judge denies you due process, um, there's nothing that you can do. Um, and his attorney had said during trial that she can't testify because she will hate him for the rest of her life. What kind of father is that? And so then the judge excluded her. And that's missing in my transcript. And it's missing in the court hearings, uh, recordings. And there's other things like that that's missing. So judges can wipe your court hearing, which makes it hard for you to appeal because there are records missing. And all the judge can just say, it was never presented. We never talked about it. Um, how did I get here? I had an attorney. From um, 2018 to 2021, I paid $100,000 to lawyers trying to get away from him, trying to get divorced. And there's no oversight with lawyers. Um, there's nobody you can complain to. My lawyers just kept telling me, go back to mediation, going back to mediation, because lawyers love a contentious divorce. They love it when one person is trying to ruin another person. All they hear is money in the bank. Um, so really, I've filed grievances with the Bar Association. I filed uh, complaints with um, the judges. 